everyone, today I'm going to introduce the PROG mix function of T16D and T12D transmitter and take T16D as an example. Press move button to enter my menu. General settings. PROG mix. PROG mix, or we can say programmable mix, is often used to control the two channels at the same time. T16D provides up to eight groups of mixing and take mixing one as an example. There are two setting pages and to the second page. Master is a master channel and the slave is the slave channel. And take the mix of channel one and channel six as an example. So I set the master channel to channel one and the slave channel to channel six. Return and enter auxch. Check the switch for channel six. We know this joystick controls channel 1 and it will go back to the center automatically. So I need to select a switch which is similar to it. For channel 6, I assign switch C, a three position switch to control it. And I also need to push switch C to the middle position. So the server value of channel 1 match the server value of channel 6. Go back to set programmable mix. Switch. You can assign switch to control programmable mix. For example, I set a switch to switch A up and the state to on, which means when I push switch up, the mixing is turned on. And when I push switch down, the mixing is turned off. And now means the mixing is turned on by default. And an OR here is to adjust the endpoint ratio on the right side of the same channel. And REV here is to adjust the endpoint ratio on the left side of the same channel. Both of them default to 50 and return to server display. Push the joystick at channel 1. You can see channel 6 moves together when the endpoint of channel 1 is 100%. And the endpoint of channel 6 is 50%, which means the endpoint of channel 6 is only the half of the channel 1. So if you want endpoint of channel 6 totally the same with channel 1, uh, you need to set an OR to 100% and also REV to 100%. Return to server display and push the joystick of channel 1. We can see channel 6 but totally the same with channel 1. And by the way, you can also set an OR and REV to uh, minus 100. Minus 100 means the direction of the slave channel is opposite to the direction of the master channel. So the above settings are the basic setting for prog mix. And if you want to adjust the curve rate, or we can say the sensitivity of the slave channel, you can also set the type, which includes EXP, VTR, and CRV. For example, for EXP, I adjust the rate to 100. And we can see here, the straight line becomes a curved line which means the movement of channel 6 is more sensitive in the neutral position but less sensitive at the ends. Yeah, I'll show it. And we know the endpoint of channel 1 and channel 6 are the same, but channel 6 is sensitive in the neutral position. And less sensitive at the ends. You can also set the rate to minus 100, which means the movement of channel 6 is more sensitive at the ends, but less sensitive in the neutral position. And offset is to set the central point of the snake channel. You can see the central point of the snake channel changes. And I can also set the time to VTR, 
which is similar to exp, and there is point, critical point. And it means that the sensitivity of the snake channel can be set in sections. And the type can also be set to CRV. And non points can be set to set the end point of the snake channel. For example, I set the point 1 to minus 70. It means when the stick of channel 1 is pushed to the noise position, or the end point of channel 1 is minus 100, the end point of the snake channel is minus 70. And return to the sub display to check it. Now push the joystick of channel 1 to the left side, and the end point of channel 1 is minus 100%, but the end point of the snap channel, channel 6, is minus 70. And you can customize all the nine points by yourself. Enter the second page. And the link here can decide whether the functions on the master channel work on the snake channel. If link is turned on when operating the master channel, the functions set for the master channel can also work on both the master channel and the snake channel. And trim here can decide whether the trim of the master channel can work on the snake channel. And if trim function here is turned on when operating the master channel, the trim of the master channel will work on both the master channel and the snake channel. And for example, turn on the trim, when turn to the server display. And I set the trim for channel 1. You can see there will also be trim for channel 6 at the same time, and the trim value is the same. So that's all about the proc function of T16D and T12D transmitter.